everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am so glad that you guys came over today to see another brand new video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you what's for dinner and what I have been chronicling over this past little while. I hope that this just gives you some ideas of some different meals. I feel like the what's for dinner question, it looms over all of us moms and I am hoping that I can just provide you with some different options, some things you haven't thought of or haven't had for a while because I think sometimes we just get tired of the same old, same old things. And so these are just a couple of things that um, they're all very quick and easy meals. I hope that it gives you some ideas of some things to purchase and make for your family so dinner time is super easy for you. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and those bell notifications so you know every time I upload a new video. Okay guys, so dinner tonight, it's actually Cinco de Mayo in my house, and so I was going to make tacos, but I usually make tacos on Tuesdays, so I actually got these tamales from Trader Joe's. I got a red kind and a green kind, and they were super easy. I just kind of steamed them like you did vegetables, and made... All of them and then I figured we could have them for lunches for the rest of the week and then I grilled some vegetables as you can see and I did some cilantro lime rice super heavy-handed me putting the rice on the plates but that's okay and yeah this is what's gonna be for dinner tonight so Okay guys, so tonight's dinner is fettuccine alfredo, some roasted vegetables, and I cut up uh, a few strawberries and a few apples, and I put those on the side, trying to get some more nutrition into my family, and these are actually the vegetables. I just roasted green beans, if this is actually baby broccoli um, from Trader Joe's, mushrooms, those are basically from me because I like them, and zucchini. And I just put olive oil and lemon pepper seasoning, and that is my favorite for vegetables. And I've been obsessed with roasting vegetables lately. I just feel like it's really easy in comparison to steaming. This is actually the fettuccine alfredo. I always use the bowtie frosta for fettuccine alfredo. I don't really know why. This is actually a Mandy in the making recipe. It is hands down the best fettuccine ever. It's so easy. Oh my gosh, I love it. And then a lot of times I'll put broccoli and um, grilled chicken in this, and my family really likes that too. Tonight I just did not want to deal with meat and such, so I just made the fettuccine alfredo, and it's just a cream sauce with basil, pepper, garlic, and butter and cream, and that's it. So this is my little guy's plate, and we're going to go eat. I hope you guys have a nice night. I hope this gives you some inspiration and meal ideas. I know we're all just cooking all the time, and we just need a few ideas here and there. Hey guys, so I almost forgot to film dinner tonight. And dinner was just a bunch of easy leftovers. This is actually my little guy's plate. So it's a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And he calls this, um, usually we have this for lunch. He'll have like a ham and cheese sandwich or a peanut butter and jelly. And he'll have cucumbers or carrots or something on the side. So I just put all of this on the side. I don't think he'll eat all of these, but um, they're there at least. And so just some ranch to dip. The ranch kind of got away from me, but that's okay. And so this is actually his dinner. And his, this is his dinner because I actually made, so I actually made, this is what's left of um, the mandarin chicken from Trader Joe's. And so I actually made this. It's super easy, super good, yummy. And um, I just put it on some leftover rice. And so we've been kind of eating on this. So it was just kind of a gather up your stuff easy kind of dinner and um, since he didn't like that this is what I made him so even when you're gathering up you can still find something usually that everybody likes and that was our dinner tonight okay so this is how our cookout turned out so I have some watermelon and some strawberries in these little bowls um, 
just because I had them and then it doesn't get all over your plate. We grilled some asparagus, made some cheese fries, and made hamburgers and hot dogs. This is my son's plate. As you can see, I just melon balled the melon and I just put some butter on these buns and broiled them. These are our cheese fries. He grilled asparagus on the grill. My husband is over here making his plate and he grilled some hot dogs too. It should be yummy. All right guys, so dinner tonight is these pulled chicken sandwiches and so this is just a pre-made pack of pulled chicken that I got from Littles and basically I just heated it up on the stove. I put these buns in the oven and broiled them with some butter, uh, roasted some little potatoes and steamed some broccoli in the microwave and then I made a salad for everybody and we also have watermelon and strawberries for fruits. This is how I did the buns. I just broiled them for a few minutes. And I actually made all the potatoes because my potatoes were growing eyes. So then we'll have these for the next couple of days. And then this is how my broccoli turned out. I love doing broccoli like this. It's so easy. And yeah, we're going to go eat right now. Thank you guys so much for coming over, for hanging out with me and figuring out what was for dinner. And I will see you in my next brand new video. Please let me know what are you making tonight for dinner because I need some ideas too. Bye for now.